Today is um, July 25, 2022. Let us be very precise, very clear, and let us record the dates in time. I am going to because I am an um, many of our people, like we said in the audio message, many of our people are like sheep without a shepherd. We are like wandering stars. We are like people lost in the uh, on the high seas or people stranded in the desert with no compass and no direction to go. Omo Biafra, we are an ancient and noble people, a prophetic people, and everything about us is timed, is linked, coded, and hidden in times and seasons that we many do not know. Ihenine, Ainaga Biga, we're all determined that which our fathers went through, our forefathers in the shape and that which we are going through have already been determined long ago written in the scrolls uh, what we are saying today is very clear very simple and very straightforward um this is a movement of prophecy that we are involved in we are not politicians we are not involved in politics of any kind we hold no allegiance to any man or political party or to any structure where civil and wherever Omo Biafra. We have no other part, no other part to that which is determined for us. We are not here to impress anyone. There was a time in the life of a nation, Israel. Jeremiah stood as a weeping prophet and he spoke and he spoke and he was like he stood alone. But there were other 70 other that were hidden inside the cave who also had an inner view inner understanding inner knowledge of that which is the status quo of a nation and that which is the future of a nation we have to understand that our future as a people our destiny is completely and totally different from nihana or nigeria nigeria is a cage a prison house that holds us captive according to the will design and power of the of the uh, rulers of this world and of this age the imperialist the colonialist we have told you that the time of the empire of the three lions which you know as britain has expired their last hold on earth where their voodoo still works is Nigeria. And they hold Nigeria for a purpose, though. Let us not go further deeper into it. But if I now go on that, this 2023 scenario shall bring many to the understanding of that which has been declared and decreed. The cause is where all causes converge. Let us say it again. The curse is where all causes converge. It does not matter what the Nigerian security force is doing in our land, killing and maiming. The tally shall be complete. The fate of Nigeria is already sealed. The descent has already begun. There is not one power anywhere in the whole universe that can thwart what has already been determined. What has been set in motion is set in motion before even the first dawn of creation. Whatever the Nigerian military or their security forces is doing now under the guise of Ibuva or whichever any group is the last kick of a dying horse. It is the last kick of a dying horse. No matter what they do, they cannot change the determinate council. We do not believe in Atiku presidency. We do not believe in Tinumbu presidency. We do not believe in Peter Obi presidency. And none of these scenarios bother anyone because the determination has been that the country, the contraption must cease. The days of its powers are come to an end already. 
a thousand Peter Obeys for the presidency of Nigeria shall never make Nigeria to work and shall never ever change the determinate council. Nothing will work in that contraption. It is a systematic and gradual uh, a breaking down and wearing down of a system that is regarded as the giant in the continent. And let us say it again, I'm of your friend. Though Nigeria empties all its armories and all its treasury, she shall not hinder or stop or prevent Biafra from rising. Madadega Ebuchi Anyamotutu Namputaya Mada Site nam bum 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 ekerowa Umwebe gonye Bochira nyamu tutu Namputaya no cheri uzo Namputaya and it is always the darkest hour before the break of dawn. Kainku Kwayozo, the course is where all causes converge. The determinate council shall no man or state circumvent, controvert, or countermand. It was written because it was spoken before the first dawn of creation to Puebido. And that which we tell you is what it is, and what it is is what we tell you. In the end, you shall verify and testify that indeed this was a movement of prophecy. The three seas are determined, and the doorway no man can change. We know that Nasiliche say, Mamada Mayebage Bisako Bisakanipir. We know because of the uh, frustration, confusion, and uh, uh, lack of direction of the uh, movement because of those who have championed it at one time or the other, that many people are Mapoge Behage Bisaka. So Peter Obi seems to be for them a last hope. You cannot go back to your vomit. Nigeria is our vomit. And I question Laga back to anything that puts us back into the equation of Nigeria, into the status quo, into the canopy of Nigeria, into the banner of Nigeria to fear what she or else our life it will take another twenty, fifty years or less than we will cease to be a people if we do not rise now we are already surrounded on every side we have already been infiltrated our ancient lands and sacred forests have already been desecrated by the masquerading marauders which we started to tell you about many many years ago homo biafra we cannot fail ourselves we cannot be a people that takes two steps forward and one step backward. The times and seasons that are in the power of Onyekere Lugwenowa, when he will step out of eternity into time to do that which he has determined and appointed for a people, a people close to his heart, no man can change. Okay, so and we must go. On yes, you know, Kai, not on Nigeria. No, God, them, but Peter will be presidency will change this on a throne as Peter will be, will be like a dragon, a draconian tyrant, even against our people. If that possibility of his presidency even shows up, we have told you before, and we say it again. You cannot trust Peter Obi presidency. Do not be fooled. His intelligence, he can reach the seat of power and lose his mind and intelligence. They remote control him, they manipulate him by evil powers and control. Jonathan was a living experience for you. So anybody, we say it again, we must look for the black god before the night falls. Seek the compass as a people. The compass will not take us back into the center or mainframe of Nigeria. 
Ihene mendi nine that are going up and down, strutting up and down, thinking that they know what is best for our land. They know not what is best for our people or our land or our generations. Now, hammer anything. They are mere mortals who understood now the mind of the eternal one. Onye kireli gwenu, onye purimi heni, onye che bigebi, yoi sinebi, ebi sinebi, ebi ishi yin kendu na adega tata. Jehovah nkusu nine kende aga. The one who is, who was, and who is to come. The one who shall always be. Generations have come and gone. He remains. He does not change. Nanya, we are not the first. We are not the last. And there have been thousands and thousands of generations that have walked this earth. And they have passed and exited the stage of time. But he remains upon the eternal seat. And what is hidden with him, no one knows. No one understands. No one can have a glimpse of it. This is what we tell you today. Our life, our destiny has been determined long before the Nani Hapotandichi Abuta, who first walked this earth before us and who passed this baton of life to us, and who that Jehovah Bobatara and Allah, oh, 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 the most blessed portion of the whole universe. This is our portion, this is our heritage. We are like strangers in our own land, we are like slave, slaves in our own land, we are like those. Uh, 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 kings walking on feet, on foot, while uh, our the slaves are, are, are riding horses. Our enemies are using our land and our resources, and our and our, and the men and women that we are projecting to offices to protect our interests. They are using them against us. None of the governors, none of the elites, has the balls or the courage to speak for us. This is just a tiny piece of the message. Chew this, reason this, we shall come back to you again. Day one.